हेलो क्रिस्टल्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल लास्ट वीक आई स्टार्टेड अ न्यू सीरीज व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन फिजियोथेरेपी इंस्ट्रूमेंट इन दैट फर्स्ट पार्ट आई टॉक्ड अबाउट वॉकिंग एड्स इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन इट येट देन प्लीज चेक आउट माय दैट वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट इलेक्ट्रोथेरेपी इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स I also made one video on types of electrode so you can easily understand which type of electrodes are used in electrotherapy so without wasting your precious time let's get started before we start to learn about instruments we should have a brief knowledge about use of this instruments there are various uses but i tell you some major uses so uses are relaxation of muscle spasms prevention and retardation of disuse atrophy increase muscle rehabilitation range increase the range of motion management of chronic pain etc so there are various type of instruments are used in electrotherapy i make a list of that instruments which are swd microwave diathermy long wave diathermy tens ift ultrasound nerve and muscle stimulator biofeedback iontophoresis laser irr ultraviolet rebox and russian currents if you know about other instruments then let me know in the comment box so first is swd which is short wave diathermy it is the commonest instrument present in physiotherapy clinics therapeutic frequency of swd is 27.12 megahertz it is used to treat deep structures of the body The machine uses electromagnetic energy to produce deep heating. As you see in this picture, there is a SWD machine is present. There are also electrodes are uh, connected with the SWD machine, which are used to uh, heat uh, heat the deep tissues of our body. But in some countries, SWD is banned. because as the high frequency electromagnetic radiation it may be dangerous in long term uses okay like short wave diathermy there is also microwave and the long wave diathermy so microwave diathermy so the frequency of microwave diathermy is 2450 megahertz microwave diathermy uses electromagnetic radiation by microwaves it heats to a laser tissue depth than the swd it is mainly used to heat superficial muscles and the joints as you see the picture of the microwave diathermy next is long wave diathermy so the frequency of long wave diathermy is 1 megahertz because of its less frequency there is no much loss of energy than the swd and it also uh, required uh, power output of 25 to 7 watt it does not produce any interference with the other equipments as you see in this picture there is a picture of long wave diathermy next is tens transcutaneous electrical now stimulation like a swd tens is also common instrument which is a uh, physiotherapist use usually the use of tens is based on pain gate theory the electrical impulses can reduce the pain signals going to the spinal cord and the brain which may help to relieve pain and relax the muscles which is the pain gate theory you can see the picture of tens machine and also electrodes which are used to send the electrical impulses next is ift interferential therapy in the ift there are medium frequency currents are used to produce effect of low frequency currents because low frequency current produces 
considerable discomfort in the superficial tissues due to impedance of the skin. So, in the IFT, due to higher frequency, it passes in the skin easily and giving rise to less discomfort. It is mainly used for pain relief, to reduce edema and to increase the blood flow. As you see in this diagram, there is an IFT machine present. Um, in the IFT, there are two channels are present of electrode. One is black and one is red. Uh, it uh, these two red and black are arranged in opposite manner as you see in the second diagram. Right? So it produces the low frequency effect in the center. Okay, next is ultrasound. As the name suggests, it uses mechanical vibrations to treat the patient. In the picture, you can see the ultrasound machine and the transducer prop. The prop is used to produce the waves and passes to the skin. There are two types of probes are available. One is 1 MHz and the other is of 3 MHz. The ultrasound is mainly used to reduce inflammation, to reduce pain and the healing of injuries and the wounds. As you see in this picture, there is an ultrasound machine is present and the transducer probes. As you can see. Okay, next is nerve and muscle stimulator. The main purpose of nerve and the muscle stimulator to prevent muscle atrophy due to inactivity or the imbalance of the neuromuscular uh, condition. It stimulates the nerves in the muscle. It stimulates the nerves in the muscles to restore function and strength. You can see uh, the neuromuscular stimulator. The machine have two channels, four channels and more. As you see in this diagram. Okay, next is biofeedback. Biofeedback is usually a mind-body technique that involves using visual or auditory feedback to gain control over involuntary bodily functions. For example, in EMG biofeedback, it measures muscle tension as it changes over time. Other example is electroencephalography, which measures the brain wave activity over time. You can see in this picture, uh, there, are, there are electrodes are attached to the head which measures the brain activity and the visual feedback. There are also biofeedback uh, machine. Uh, the various type of instruments are present uh, to get the biofeedback. Next is iontophoresis. Iontophoresis is a process of transdermal dr drug delivery by the use of voltage gradient on the skin. You can see in this picture there is a machine. And in other picture there is a process in which we can treat the hyperhidrosis. So what is hyperhidrosis? So hyperhidrosis is a condition that result in a persistent and excessive sweating. You can treat the hyperhidrosis by the iontophoresis. Next is laser therapy. The term laser stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Laser is mainly used by dermatologists, ophthalmologists and by the surgeons. In physiotherapy, laser is used to relieve pain, to accelerate healing and decrease the inflammation for faster wound healing, etc. You can see in this picture, there is a laser probe and the machine are present. But during the treatment, glasses are wear compulsory to prevent damage to the eyes. Next is infrared radiation. It is a non-invasive light based technology that provides a broad range of health benefits. It is safer than laser and ultraviolet which causes damage to the skin. You can see there are two types of IR lamps are available, luminous and non-luminous. 
so what is difference between luminous and the non luminous so the main difference between these two are luminous can penetrate into the dermis and the epidermis and the non luminous penetrate the superficial dermis only next is ultraviolet the ultraviolet light therapy or the phototherapy is mainly used to pro, uh, treat the skin disorders like vitiligo and the psoriasis when it is used with the soraline it is called the pua treatment it is mainly used to treat the psoriasis in the uvr there are many different types of lamps are available like mercury lamp mercury vapor lamp fluorescent lamp alpine lamp chromer lamp and the theractin tunnel as you see in this picture there is a uh, mercury lamp uh, is present there is a mercury vapor lamp fluorescent lamp chromer lamp theractin tunnel so the theractin tunnel in this number of fluorescent tubes each a uh, with a parabolic reflector incorporated into a semi circular tunnel next is the box current it is a generator of specific dc current electric pulses as you see as you can see in this picture there are micro currents are introduced into the a uh, treated area non invasively with a touch of a small point and the other uh, other cylindrical electrode is held by the patient to complete electrode circuit it produces local acidosis in the target area which results in a prompt analgetic effect concurrently muscle relaxation and reduction of the swelling occur and the last is russian current it is a ac current with a frequency of 2.5 kilohertz it is mostly used for muscle mass and the edema reduction and to stimulate motor nerves due to the high frequency it allows deep muscle penetration stimulation and muscle fiber contraction as you can see in this image most of the russian current units are combined with the ift unit or the other combination unit thank you for listening our second part of physiotherapy instrument is completed i hope you have find worthful information in this video if you really like this video then don't forget to hit a like share and subscribe thank you